Hello. <clears throat> Hello. Welcome to Terraria. So this is our guide to Terraria. This is part uh, 26. So we have axe hit points and uh, mana. We defeated the Moon Lord multiple times. We got the Drill Containment Unit. So we could just uh, fly around everywhere. What we don't have is extra storage. We don't have extra portable storage. So if we go to the alchemy tab, we could uh, organize all of our things here too. We could organize everything. Might as well just take this thing, the staff of regrowth, and then just uh, harvest uh, link roots and moon glow. Just harvest whatever's growing here. Then maybe uh, plant more. So you'll always need more of link roots. You always need more of uh, everything. Especially if you want to make a whole bunch of potions, then uh, maybe it would even help in uh, master mode. Maybe it would. Master mode is just insane. So if we take the what do we need? Shiver thorn. We don't have too much shiver thorn. So you could uh change your farming place. You could uh make it a lot different if you want. You could expand it, you could make it a uh, longer, you could make it higher. But I don't know if we're gonna do that this time. <clears throat> Usually we make it pretty big. Just a bunch of moon glow growing, and then we just uh get some blink roots. Just put whatever blink root seeds we have room for. So the goblin invasion, we looked it up, we were wondering uh, why did the goblins never invade? Because you have to destroy a orb, you have to destroy a shadow orb. We never destroyed a shadow orb because uh, we never got bombs. We never got bombs until a long time into the episode, so usually you would take uh, bombs, go to the corruption, destroy that, and then give you everything but we never actually got that for some reason yeah then we'll have to go <coughs> do something we'll have to do something with all these items that we don't need so we have extra life fruits and everything let's just go get the uh, storage item so if we go to our uh, alchemy alchemy tabs we need what bones we need bones we need jungle spores if we go to our Horrors and everything, so we need uh, shadow scales. Shadow scales, we get those from uh, defeating the one enemy. So, what could we do then? We could uh, we could bring uh, bombs to show what it would normally look like, what we would normally do. Where's the demolitionist? Where is he? Generally, you would uh, buy it from one of the people. We don't see him here. Maybe he's still dead or something. Maybe he's dead. I think we had a bomb somewhere. Or maybe we don't need the bombs. Usually, we have the drill containment unit. Usually, you'd use uh, bombs to destroy them. You can. You could use any hammer. But considering uh, we can't find where the bombs are and we demolitionist uh, might be dead. We're just gonna run there. So we could go in our uh, drill containment unit. Well, we could uh, summon things. Let's just uh, summon things. Let's just get everything ready. So we could use that to summon one extra summon. And we have our summon set. So we could summon a whole bunch of things. There we go. And then we could just uh, fly the drill containment unit. So we need to find one of those altars. We need shadow scales, jungle spores, and bones. We could probably even make uh, more of them. So normally you would use bombs to work your way to the orb and then you could uh, destroy it with bombs or dynamite. Bombs or dynamite. Any of those. Or you could smash it with a hammer. Any of those things. We'll probably do that at some point. Uh, but we'd pretty much just be making our way to the left of the map. Since we have this unit, we could pretty much just uh, mine the shadow orb without a hammer, without dynamite, without grenades, without anything. Actually, uh, this thing flies slower, slower than the UFO. That's right. The UFO has a higher fly speed. Does this thing uh, flies faster? Oh, we could even uh, it's not here. Got a death weed. Blueberries. So we just want to go down here where the corruption is, where those little uh, 
pathways are down to below. We want to destroy this thing. There's a death weed right here. Death weed is used for crafting. So we could just go like that. Horrible chill goes down your spine. So if the Eater of Worlds has been destroyed, it would be like a 50% chance to spawn a meteorite during the next day. Oh, well, during the night. So we get some Blink Roots here. And then there was a chest here. So I can't believe we didn't get the Goblin Army. So we loot this here, see if there's anything here. And we don't have space, right? We don't have space to pick up anything. So you can see space is a problem. We could have probably... I don't know what we could have done. Let's go over here. <clears throat> so we need a altar to grab the things at. So like before, we could just use uh, about mushrooms and rotten chunks and summon him. We'll just summon him like this. He gets summoned also when you destroy three of these. We're gonna have to come back for those when we craft our uh, void bag. So we should be able to if we could just find uh, find an altar over here somewhere. So I don't think we would have uh, destroyed all of them. Right? Somewhere, maybe down there or something. Hearts here, if you want to make hearts for something. Is there no uh, altar over there? Maybe we destroyed them. Oh, we've seen the extra somewhere. There would always be altars that you missed. Always would be altars that you missed. So we can check the map to see where they are. So let's just uh, teleport home. So we need to get off of this thing. So let's just go quick stack quick. <clears throat> so we had uh, bone and shadow scales. We destroyed two of those things. We need to go get more of those. Or somewhere, right? What's that thing? Water chest. If you can check the map, it should uh right here. If you hover over it, it should tell you what it is. Maybe over in the desert over here there was something. <laughs> it's because you destroy them to release the ores into the world, and then there should be the other one. I don't know. What, there's one like down here or something? No. Let's just uh, deposit everything we don't need. This inventory space is a problem right now. We'll just go to the ores, wherever all the ores are. So there's uh, things mixed in with all the ores. We don't need all these things. Right Let's throw the meteorite bars, the hellstone bars, the glorified bars, the specter bars. Take out these uh, banners. Take out all well, the corrupt seeds are kind of like metal. Take out the sailor suit. Oh, you should have everything as metal in here. We'll have to, uh, oh, shop price is lowered by 20%, the discount card. So you get that from the pirate invasion. Yeah, we're gonna have to set another chest up here. <clears throat> so we're gonna have to reorganize all of our things at some point. Like all of the uh, mushrooms together. 
put all the banners together, put all the statues together, put all the masks together, maybe sort them by the boss or something. Just don't have a space to hold anything. So there's some more bars and everything. And then the weapons, we don't know if we uh, need the weapons anymore. Luminary bars and then start this fragments. Do we put those over here? fruits in here maybe start as fragments with the other ones right yeah all the other fragments are in here water candle we can keep this thing i don't know so we don't generally uh, need buff potions at this moment so i guess if we go to the herbalism thing where all the potions are we could just throw the iron skin the regeneration shine potion probably spelunker we could probably use it for something but oh we don't really need a gun or anything Clear inventory space. Now what about the mud blocks and everything? So we can just put them here. Health potions. We can throw health potions in. Alchemy. And then we're good to go, I guess. Throw the rabbit food in there. So now our inventory is pretty clear. We could go to the vendor, to the merchant. So we could go to the merchant, we could shop with you, we could buy a safe. So that thing will hopefully give us uh, discount prices. What if we have to have it equipped or something? We don't know. Oh, you can't equip it. So you can buy one safe for here. There you go. Then you can buy one safe for here. In the piggy bank, we could uh, bring a piggy bank with us, or we could just uh, try to get that item from the blood moon. So there we go. Oh, and then the uh, goblin army will not spawn until you destroy one of those orbs. That's right. So go over here. Just press R to fly the UFO. We'll just uh, go try looking over here for a bit. here did lead to down here, but we probably uh, destroyed all of them that were around this place. If we had destroyed this, that would summon the Eater of Worlds, and then we kill him, and then we get our uh, Shadow Scales, or minions. Yeah, our minions will destroy him before he does anything. This is what happened before too, when he's starting to come for you. Your guys will kill him as he's trying to charge for you. Absolutely amazing. So you get your shadow scale farm. Shadow scale, demon and bars. If I can have to mine in here. And there we go, the Eater Worlds has been defeated. So much easier with the minions. Just mine here to get all the uh, items that pop. You need shadow scales. is uh, a wave basically we could start a new game to find one but Some. 
So this will just be the search for the uh, chaos altars that you didn't destroy. The inventory's full already. It would be where? On the map. Just search the map and try to find where you are. I have no idea. Maybe in the jungle. Let's go check out the jungle. <laughs> I guess we could go loot the things from the orbs that we killed. <clears throat> so we're trying to make a void bag and a void ball. Maybe multiples of them. So we just need the scales that the Eater of Worlds drops. We need spores in the jungle. Then we need uh, bones. We need bones from the dungeons. So we have all of those. All we need is the altar. So we're just gonna fly over here. We're gonna collect our uh, drops that we didn't collect from the shadow orbs. Sometimes they drop uh, unique drops. I want to get them for something. So we just have to find out where these shadow orbs were that we destroyed. Oh, we can even get a death beetle. Right? So the bio corn. So bio corn would be an item you get from here. I guess. Should probably be a meteorite spawn at some point. And if you find a uh, Mimic, you can probably get their drops. Yeah, if you hear that sound, it could have been a Mimic that was destroyed, so then you want to go on uh, the if you can. So we're in the jungle. We destroyed most of the jungle, so we should be able to find stuff. Hopefully. They would keep uh, spawning around the world so you could fight uh, that plant monster as many times as you want. <laughs> blood Moon is rising. So we do want the uh, Blood Moon. We do want to try to get that one drop for easier portable storage. Let's 
go back home. Let's do the Blood Moon. While the Blood Moon is happening, our minions will kill everything that spawns. And then we could uh, try to see what we're looking for. Let's just throw random things in here for now. Eater of Worlds Mask. I don't even think we need the uh, mining fixes, right? We just use the uh, drill containment unit for now. Potion, they should uh, spawn more often. So we'll just drink a battle potion. We'll just check it out. We'll just do it that way. Maybe we put the battle potion somewhere. Oh, we should be able to make battle potions. If we go here, crafting. crafting. Oh, we have to jump up. Craft. We can make uh, battle potions. It takes uh, one death weed and one rock shell. You drink the battle potion, and you have a uh, water candle lit, so they should spawn more often. And your uh, minion should take care of them. While well, we try to find the stupid uh, altar we're looking for, because we did see them on the map. So you could start a new map and go find them and then just uh, fly to the altar. There's still more we could do on this map. Although it would save all this uh, trouble searching. But when we uh, leave here, there'll be a bunch of loot on the ground, hopefully. into this run, usually, pretty much always do that. They should show up as a big rectangle, right? Maybe there is none. Maybe there actually is none. Whenever they uh, drop the item we're looking for, 
Since we're looking for an item from the uh, Blood Moon, the enemies would drop here. down here, that's why they stopped spawning. They started to uh, fall in here, actually. Okay, so we have to fill this hole. We have to fill this hole or something. That way enemies don't get stuck. Just throw like Evan Box through there, I guess. We just don't want uh, enemies to fall into holes and get stuck, because then we can't uh, kill them for anything. There should be a whole bunch of loot over here, too. So we didn't get the item we're looking for yet. You would be able to tell what it looks like when it drops. should start uh, spawning again. Hmm. So I wonder why we didn't find any of those things. What if we dig straight down? Uh, we should wait here until the net is over. <laughs> so we were trying to uh, expand our storage, but we weren't able to.
So what we could do is get out of our flying machine. We could place like a safe down on the ground. Open the safe and we could say deposit all. Deposit all. There we go. And then we could break the safe. And then uh, we don't have to go back to town so quickly. Okay, what is spot this low? Uncovering it up. Maybe on the far left or the right side or something. Life fruit. <laughs> so we can get life fruit for anything. There's titanium up there. This world, we could uh, completely destroy the world, anyways. We don't really. Oh, we got a sharpening station is right there. So we get the sharpening station, I guess. We never got that. That's in the uh, jungle, jungle biomes. You use it to create a flask or you can sharpen it. Not sure. Look into it. We could get a uh, spores along. And we're uh, learning the locations of all of the uh, Pantera's balls, I guess. So if I wanted to go uh, defeat Pantera a bunch of times, we know that there's a bunch of those that are spawned. in the uh, ocean. We're draining the ocean. Uh -oh. What? Oh, maybe the water is falling. Maybe it's just uh, taking all the fall. Or so I guess when we come back to the ocean, the ocean's gonna be drained or something. To the map. We still haven't seen that uh, crap in all three. your, what, your safe, access your safe, do all, just go here and then uh, quick stack all, just uh, put things in this chest here, maybe we'll find another chest along the way or something, so there we go, so there is no, oh, 
filters left on the world or something. safe down and then we could deposit it all so it'll get a lot better later we'll be able to get uh, better things and we collect the uh, solar knight if we farm the farm the boss flower of frost and we're uh, finding other items too i guess flower of frost i don't think we had that item. oh and from the turtle we need to get the turtle shell I guess there's other reasons to come out here too besides the altars. You need to uh, destroy certain enemies to get their drops. And then you combine them to get a better item. So we need to get like a frozen turtle shell. So we finally did find one. So there would be one on the world, right? You could uh, explore the world and try to uh, try to get a bunch of resources, try to get the items you didn't need, try to search for uh, statues, maybe things. But now that we have this thing, we'd want to dismount. Now we could go craft, right? So we go crafting here at any altar. We just need uh, jungle spores, bones. Maybe they're in the safe. So we know where this is. It's just after the ice mountain over there. So let's go home. We found the altar. Maybe we'll just do it since this took so long. We'll say uh, this is a different episode. This isn't uh, getting more storage. Well, oh, we already got the uh, safe. Okay. And deposit all, and then we could find another chest, and then we could throw things in there. We could uh, even create chests. We could craft our own chests until we, if we didn't want to. So let's find some chests to throw on the ground. If there is any, if there is any, uh, in any of these boxes. And we'll still reorganize everything later, right? Everything's an absolute disaster. Everything's a disaster. <coughs> Can't find anything. Just keep throwing things in here. There isn't even any uh, chests in here. So we're gonna have to go loot some chests. Oh. Wait a minute, 
Is that a golden chest? Golden chest. Alright. So we found something. So what's the flower of frost? 61 magic damage. Shoots a fireball of frost. Cool. So we have everything that we don't need anymore then. Strange plant shark necklace. So this thing would be really good against enemies because the armor penetration. Arch of ore. So we'll just throw the ore in the ore box. And considering it took so long to find those, maybe we'll say this was the episode. So you're just uh, searching the world, mining things. Now that you have the drill containment unit, you can go mine things, destroy the eater of worlds. You wanted to get the... Or you want to get shadow scales from him? Then make sure you have jungle spores and bones. And then next episode, we'll get the storage items. So we just got the uh, safe. We didn't get the blood boom one either yet. So here we go, 42 minutes is uh, pretty long.